All right, then, guys. Today we're gonna to be doing another boat pulling ball kr challenge, and the challenge I'm gonna be doing today is gonna to be called leg. So with this challenge, it's a bit different because they're giving us two files to download, which is leg.c and leg.asm. So if we look closely at these files, I already have them downloaded. Right here, I have my notes where I'm gonna talk about. But before I get started, let's check leg.c. So that's one of the very first files I downloaded. You could download it either using a wget leg.c, wget and the name of the URL. Oh, that's how I download it. So like wget, and then you put the name of the URL. So you just grab, highlight this, and you just download it. Control C, and then just download it like that. But I already have it downloaded, so it's already there. So I don't need to do this again. So oh my god, my thing just crashed. Oh, hopefully it fixes itself. I'll just I'll just restart this again, but. Uh, pwn uh, leg c dot one. So if we bat cat leg leg dot c, if we bat cat leg dot c, we're giving um we have three functions. So what basically is going on? I'm guessing we have to enter. Uh, let's do this again. So I guess for this challenge, we need to add up key one, key two, and key three. And we see right here key one it wants to get the value of register three whatever register three holds for the most part and then key two um yeah so it wants the values from key one key two and key three and then if it equals to key that means it print out congrats that's how we solve this challenge for the most part and they also give us an asm dot an asm dot so we could check that out back cat uh leg dot asm and we're giving this so if we look closely right here we see the exact same things again we see key one key two key three but then you see right here we see the compare factor so i'm guessing this is comparing r3 along with r2 and this comparison is basically asking if for the most part uh this code lang this coding um this uh i guess this uh it's comparing these two and if the comparison happens, I'm guessing it will go to this part of the instruction, which is 8DA8, which is this part, which is main 148. And then main 148 is, uh, I guess it ends the challenge for the most part. If it doesn't, it goes through. So for this point of the challenge, we need to find a way how it adds it up. And the main part that we see for the most part, we see key one. So key one, what does key one return for the most part? Key one returns R0. And R0 is holding R4. So we had to check key one. And then if we check key one, which is right here, key one, we want to check where, R, what's the last value placed in R0. So if we check key one, R0 is giving the value of R3. And R3 holds the PC. So what's PC and ARM? I'm, I guess we're asking ourselves. So PC and ARM, basically I have like a like a little cheat sheet right here where it tells me. And if I look up PC and ARM, it's basically the program counter is incurred by the size of the instruction. Except this size is always four bytes in, in the two bytes thumb, or, thumb mode. So when a branch instruction is being executed, the PC holds the destination address. During the execution, PC stores the address of the current instruction plus a two ARM instructions. So I guess it gives us an example here. Let's look at the behavior when using this. So PC is moved to R0. So start, take a, PC is R0, which is I'm guessing this part. PC R0 right there. So PC is probably gonna point to, uh, one two is gonna probably point to this for the most part 805z so yeah if you see right here so let's look at this while well, expected to contain a previous red instruction so yeah so the thing with arm is it's pretty weird it so pc the p the program counter is gonna hold two instructions ahead so what's actually gonna hold is gonna hold whatever we're at currently which is this part it's going to hold two instructions so it's going to hold this you will think it will hold this one but it won't it's going to hold this value right here so r3 
is going to set equal to this specific address uh, currently right here. So now we have one of the values for uh, for key one because that R0 holds that value. And R0 is in R3, and but R3, the last value, places PC counter, and PC counter points to this. So now we have one value that we could keep in our mind. So if we do nano Python 3, and then we just put this value. So now we know one value that holds 3608. So we just exit out right here. Nano notes. Now we know one value. So back cat uh, leg uh, ASM. So we check this. Now we know where key one is at for the most part. Now we check key two. So we check key two in the main function because this is the disassemble main. So this is whatever was disassemble in main. Now we check key two. Now what does key two hold? It holds R0, but it's placed in R3. And later on we add R3 to R4, which is basically the same thing as uh, if we go back to back cat leg dot C. It's basically key one plus key two. So now we're in this part, key one plus key two. So if we go back to leg.asm, key two is now going to hold uh, the last value in key two is R0, but it's placed to R3. So R0, so we check key two and we check R0. So we press enter. We see the entire functionality for key two. So we want to check where R0 is placed. So R0. The last thing placed in R0 is R3. And if we check R3, R3 is right here, it adds R3, but then we check right here. So we're right here at the most part, R3. So R3 is gonna hold the PC, the program counter. And like we said before, program counter is two steps ahead. So if we check program counter, it's gonna be this part, AD08. So now R3 now holds, uh, uh, 8D08. Now, if we keep on going, the next thing that happens is R3 gets gets added by, I guess, 4. So now in 8D08, all we need to do is add 4. So plus 24. So we add 4 to that. So that's going to be 28. So now it holds this value. And if we keep going down at R3, nothing happens for the most part. And then we see R3 gets added to R0. So R3 now holds... 8D0C. And so now from there, that's the last value that R0 gets placed. So if we go back now, now we know that R0 now holds 8D0C. So I'm just going to copy that for the most part and just uh, put that in my notes. So if we do Python 3, copy that, get the value, and then we just copy this value and then just exit out nano notes right, um, is it the same one or did I uh, no it's different okay so now we have two values now we're gonna go for R3 or key 3 so we go back and um, back cat leg dot asm if you go back to key three so key three the last value input is three r r zero and it gets added to r three and r four now holds the values of r three r four and r three which was uh this key value and these key values adding each other up so now that's key one plus key two and now we're on to key three and key three this time it got overridden with whatever uh r zero was that it got it from key three so now we check key three. So we want to check key three, key three right here. We want to check where R0 was last called. So R0 was last called by placing R3 like last time. Now in R3, we get this weird instruction LR. So what does LR mean? So if we go check this cheat sheet right here for arm, let me type LR. Let me just cheat. Link register, that's what I guess it stands for. And if you go down link register, and then we see right here, Link register. When a function call is made, the link register 
gets updated with the memory address reference, referencing the next instruction set where the function was initiated from. Doing this allows the program to return the parent function that was initiating the child's function. So what does that mean for the most part? Let's see if we get an example right here. No example. So so what does this mean? Like what does what does this all mean? So basically L3 is basically gonna hold the function. It's basically gonna hold this memory. So when this function was called key three, it's gonna hold this specific memory right here. It's gonna hold the next the next memory address of uh of key three. So it was called right here, right? Key three was called right here. So L3 points to the next one in line. So it's gonna to point to this right here. So now we have our second value for the most part. So now if you go back to key three, so so now key three holds that value that I highlighted, which was this part. Key three is this part. So it's basically LR basically calls, it goes back to the parent function and it gets the next value after it. So now that value is in R3 and then R3 gets placed in R0 and then that's the last thing we ever do with R0. And we see, go back to right here, R0 gets added to key 3 and then R3 and R4 gets added to R2 which holds key 1 plus key 2 plus key 3. And then after that we just do a comparison between R2 and R3 and I'm guessing that comparison is basically um, of the value of key for the most part. So now it, all we need to do is just basically go to nano. Oh no, wait. let's do Python 3. And just highlight the value that we got. Get this value, then exit out. Nano notes. And right here, you still hold the return address for the function call. Now we have all of these highlighted, so all we need to just copy this for the most part. Hopefully that copy went successful. And if I just go to Python 3, add these all up, we get this specific value now. So all we need to do is just copy this value, exit out, and then uh, I guess SSH in inside this uh, specific uh, program. So if I just SSH in inside this, copy and we put in a password which is just guest oh can I ask you? oh um oh what was the value again bro I for, okay, forgot and I cleared it now uh just put exit Uh, Python 3. Oh shit. <laughs> Bat cat notes.txt. We just add these values up. Let me hi highlight this. Python 3. And then we just exit out. And then we just go back to our SSH name. And you put a guest, then I already have it pasted. So all we need to do is just basically um, ls run leg. We enter a number, the number I already have it pasted, enter it, and congrats. And then we get the flag. My daddy has a lot of arm, arms muscle. So if I just copy and paste this, it should work. But like I said, I'm not logged in, so it didn't take it, but yeah. That's how basically we solve this challenge. So with this challenge, I guess it was a bit difficult for the most part. You had to be able to like, uh, I guess, read assembly code for the most part and understand what's going on. Uh, that's why you'll probably need to, uh, that's why they give you the two files for the most part, little leg.asm. <sighs> I'm so used to using cat, but back cat's a lot better, a lot more colorful, a lot more cleaner for the eyes. So we see right here, key one, it's added to R4, so I guess for notes, I guess key one, the last value placed, the last value out of key one is R0, so it gets added to R4, so R4 
holds key one, the value of key one. And then we see right here, key two, key two, or uh, this plans R R three is equal to the value of key one plus key two. And then right here, R three gets overridden. So R three gets overridden with the value of, um, oh no, no, wait, wait, R, so, our view gets the value of key two. I guess that's what I meant. And then R4 gets overridden with key one plus key two. And then R3 gets overridden with the value of key three. Of key three, yeah. And then all we need to do basically is just add the value of R4, which holds already the the value of key one plus key two. So it's gonna be R4 plus R3, which holds the value of key three, which is gonna equal to basically key one plus key two plus key three. And then after that, we, we need to look for the comparison function. And the only comparison function that we see is right here. CMP stands for comparing because if you see right here, there's no other comparison function being called. So we could assume that this is the if statement because in our program right here, clear cat back cat leg dot C. There's only one if statement and that's basically comparing the other three key values in this key value. And that's basically how we solve this challenge for the most part. So anyway, that was about it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.